Hi guys, it's your girl Tara and it's midday with Tara. Let's talk. Give you guys a few minutes to come on. I'm excited to be here today. It is actually, we're in the sixth month. We're halfway, well, more than halfway through the uh, 2019 year. And, you know, I just want to check in on you guys. I know I didn't come on last week, have a lot of things going on, but I try my hardest to be on every week, um, every Wednesday at noon. I'm going to start a track coming on at 1230. I had a lot of people say, hey, I'm missing you at 12. 1230 is better. So I'm going to try 1230. So that's why I'm coming on at 1230, you guys. So if you're just logging in, make sure you like and share. If you are watching me on the replay, make sure you tag a friend share it on your page because this information is vital it changed my life it changed my life as a lot of you guys know i am a um i'm a certified life coach i got something going on on my page let me tell you let's turn it off i am a professional counselor and i am a certified christian life coach i have been certified for over 10 years now i've been a um I've been had my degree in counseling and but I've been doing this what I do before I even got degrees <laughs> um, just and it not because I, it was all because of the gift from God. But today I want to talk to you, you guys about um, personality preference, personality preference. What is personality preference? Well, it's just what it is. I hope you guys can hear me. I got a new mic, so oh, my mic is on. It's good. Um, so personality preference. What is personality preference? I want to make sure I have it up. Okay, good. Yeah, I'm up and live. <laughs> so personality preference. Um, well, before I get into that, let me just let you guys know. A lot of you guys don't know that I um, have been facilitating a private confidential um, women's group. It's called Sister, It's Time to Heal. It's healing. It's emotional healing. It's healing from spiritual healing. It's healing from those traumas in the past that prevents many people from walking out their true purpose and destiny. The fullness of it. The fullness of it. Because you feel like, you know, sometimes, a lot, oftentimes you feel as though I'm moving. I'm successful in this in this area, but something just seems like it's holding me down. It's just not quite where I want it to be or where I think it should be because I have these emotional, um, this emotional baggage that I'm carrying that I've been carrying, or that you've masked so long that it's become a part of you, and it's a hindrance to who you are and to the people and the things you want to accomplish in your life. So I talk, I teach this for the four session um, group and it's taught. I start a new private confidential session once a month, every third Monday of the month. So um, if you're interested, follow me on my page. My next group starts next Monday. The classes start at 630. Um, it's all confidential all private, all confidential, but guess what? It's life-changing. It's life-changing. It is life-changing. So if you or you know someone that um, is dealing with some issues from their past, maybe maybe it's traumas, abuse, uh, church hurt, uh, sibling hurt, low self-esteem, um, whatever it may be, and that same relationship hurt, you know, if it seems if, that, if that's something, maybe it's you. If it's something that's been holding you back that you can't seem to shake, that's what it is. You can't seem to seem to knock it. You can't seem to shake it. It always keep reoccurring in your life. It always keep coming up in some form, fashion. So this may be the group for you. This group is not for everybody because you have to work. You have to dig up. You're gonna have to take some scabs off and dig in some wounds and, and heal them. And we go in and we, we go in deep in this group, but guess what? You come out here. 
So let's get into it today. It's June the 12th. Oh, wow. June the 12th. And today we're talking about personality preference. Personality preference. Well, I guess you said, Tom, what is personality preference? Well, we all have an innate personality. We all with personality traits. Me and myself, I am a my personality is um, I'm more melancholy. I am I'm a born leader. Now, when I say we have a personality trait, we have all the traits. We can operate in all the traits that um, and I'm not gonna go through that because that's just too much. I teach that class, I teach a personality diversity class. Um, but I'm not gonna go into all of them, but we have all of those traits, traits, but we have dominant traits that we live by. I'm naturally headstrong. I'm naturally a leader. I'm naturally one of those persons that can come in and a problem solver. That's just who I've always been. That's naturally my trait. Naturally. Can I be artsy crafty? Yeah, I am. That's one of my talents. I am I own a hair salon. I am artsy crafty, but I, I, I solve problems also. Can I be um, I'm introverted and extroverted? Yeah, I can be out front and I can stand strong and I can be like, hey, this is what I'm meant to be. But at the same time, equally, I can sit in the back and not open my mouth. <laughs> I can sit in the back and just say, OK, I'm not going to just going to sit here and listen. And that's something that I had to learn. I'm OK with being myself. You have some people that they have to be around other people they have to be congregating with other people and that's a personality trait and you have people that don't even know their personality trait and that's what we're going into today we're talking about personality preference personality preference we allow the personalities of those people around us that are predestined to help take us to greatness deter us from that because we don't like their personality. It's something about they're too loud because naturally I'm loud. I'm just, you know, my tone is loud. I can't, my mama was loud, my grandpa, I just can't, I'm loud. I talk loud, I have a loud tone and when I get excited, I get even louder. But guess what, that offends some people. That offends people, especially if you have a personality that's quiet and more reserved, um, more even tone. They're like, oh, she, she, you know, she's, I have someone to say, well, why are you so angry? I'm not angry. That's my personality, <laughs> you know, but, but because if you don't understand and don't know personality diversity, you become offended with people with personalities that's opposite of the personality that's your dominant, that carry your dominant traits. And we have to be careful of that because you have personalities that complement each other and you have personalities that clash. But we as people that are saying that we want to live our best life and that we're trying to be business owners and entrepreneurs and leaders in our communities and leaders in our nations and um, nationally and internationally, we have to understand we have, we cannot have personality preference because person, when we have personality preference, it does, it, it does a few things. And I wrote them down. It blocks purple purposeful, uh, tongue tied. It blocks purposeful connections. Tar, what do you mean? Well, you have people in your life that you are predestined to be connected with. They don't look like you. They don't sound like you. They don't have the same interest as you have, but they are purposeful connections because they what they do have will help catapult you to your next level in life. And what happens is when we come across those people, we get offended because of their personality, because it's not what we were looking for. Let me give you an example. Often we say, oh, I need the right person. If I can just meet the right person, God send me this person. Or, you know, I'm looking for this. And, and then when, when they show up, we get offended because we don't like that person 
personality. We don't like how they look, like how they act. We don't like how they conduct themselves because of their personality. And it's not what we were expecting. And when we don't expect it, we block it. So then we go another five, ten years. Oh, God, you know, I just need this. Well, I sent what you needed. But because you had a preference and personality, you refused it. You refused it. So personality blocks purposeful connections. Personality blocks increase in your life. Yeah. Personality blocks increase. Now, that could be financial increase. That could be business increase. That could be um, spiritual growth increase. That could be um, personal growth increase. It could be real estate increase. Whatever type of increase it is. But because we don't like their personality and we're looking for somebody to say it a certain way or look a certain way or hurt have a certain tone or hurt have a certain swag or hurt, have a certain fashion um appeal to them we refuse them we refuse them because mm, that's not what i was looking for mm, I, and you know what people say well if God know, and see y'all, you know, that's one of those things that irritate me because we love to throw God in there. Ooh, we love to say, well, God knows my heart. He knows what I'm going to receive. You don't tell God how to send you something. You don't tell God what to do and how to do it. He might know it, but then he wants to know, do you trust him to be open to the person that got alcohol on their breath? that come to the meeting with the shirt torn, have all this, this in disarray. But they have this, they have the increase, the information that you need to take you to your next level. But because they didn't look like what you expected, you refuse them. Personality preference. The next thing personality preference it does, it blocks wisdom and knowledge. It blocks wisdom and knowledge. The word of God tells us a, a little child shall lead in. Sometimes children, yeah, even kids that act up, what I call my word, they act a donkey. <laughs> they cut up, they cut the food. But guess what? They may have that. They may possess teenagers an older person uncle bobo that, that nobody ever listened to because that has the mental problem uncle bobo may have that information and that wisdom that you need to take you to your next level but because you don't respect them or you don't like their personality or some of their traits you refuse them and you stay in that same conundrum that keeps you from um, walking into your purposeful, full destiny and who you are called to be. All because of personality. All because, because of personality. And that's something that I'm telling you guys, I had to learn. My personality, you know... <laughs> and I always share my stories because I like to just talk about, you know, my experience. I don't want to point the finger at anybody else. But I share from my experiences because, you know, those experiences are the experience that taught me, hey, listen, you're missing out because of you, not because of somebody else. You're missing out because of, because of all your isms and personality and your expectations of how things should be. And you're missing out on who and what has been purposed in your life to take you to the next level. Mm -hmm. Now, I had to understand that, hey, some personalities, they are, an, they are annoying to me. They are. They are annoying to me because I'm like, come on. You're taking you 10 minutes to tell me what you could have told me in two. Because my personality and how my brain thinks is like this. Come on. 
Let's let's get it done. You don't have people that have that personality, and they're they're a little more low key, and they're gonna be more detailed, and they're going to um, talk slower, and they're gonna give all these examples. And I'm like, come on, get to it, so we can go ahead. Tell me what you want me to do, so I can go ahead. Well, that's my personality. The thing about that personality, I may miss something that's important that I need that they need to share because I'm ready. Hey, I got the big picture, but I don't have the small pieces that are needed to make that big picture come to pass because we can have the big picture. But remember, in everything big, you have something small, small pieces that's gathered together to make the big pictures. A hundred pennies make a dollar. Yeah. Fifty pennies don't make a dollar. You got 50 cents. You won't get a paper dollar. You get a 50 cent piece. So we have to be careful with that. So, and I'm not going to be on long today, but I do want to come on and I just want to share this thing. Let me tell you something, you guys. Personality preference is killing who you are especially with women. Oh, wow. Let me tell you some guys. I see this all the time because mm, I don't know about that person. They're a little too quiet. They're a little too loud. They're a little too outspoken. They're a little too this and that. Mm, yeah. And even with me, and this stuff that happened to me recently, and I'm like, you know what, this lady, I, come on now. We need to have a little more excellence in some things. Because that's what my mindset is now. But my mind has, my mindset had always been there. My mindset was mediocre. But now my mindset is, hey, we need to get things, on a, do things in a more excellent way all the time. Especially if we're going to be empowering women and uh, teaching people the true principles of the word of God, we have to have a standard and live by it. Well, I have to remind myself constantly, Tara, you just started doing it. <laughs> you just started walking out this standard and this fullness. You hadn't always been there, girl. So I have to remind myself, everybody's not where you are. But my job, my purpose, my goal is to pr bring people up to where I am. But, and so they don't have to go through a lot of those um, negative experiences that I went through. But they, I can pull them up in love and show them, hey, let me show you a better way. And let me show you why. This is a better way because a lot of times we want to tell people personality preference. We want to tell them, hey, this is a better way. You knew it. You need to do it that way or you need to do it this way. But we never tell them why and how it's going to benefit them, because just telling a person why they need they need to know, well, how is this going to benefit me? And when you can show a person, give them understanding. On why you telling them something and how it's going to benefit benefit them now and in the long run, they are more acceptable to change. But when we have personality preferences, we block the connections that we need. We block increase and we block wisdom and the knowledge that we need to rise to the next levels and levels, not just level, but levels in our life. So listen to me. This is your girl, Tara. We have to learn, understand what personalities compliment me? What personalities clash with my personality but are still beneficial? Just because they clash with your personality don't mean they're not beneficial. Don't mean that they don't have something that you need. We have to be mindful of that. So again, this is uh, Let's Talk with Tara. This is Midday with Tara. I love you guys. I'm glad you joined me today. I'll be on next Wednesday. Same time, like I said, 12 30 ish, because a lot of people saying, Hey, I'm at lunch at 12. But hey, if you're watching this on the replay, replay, like and share, comment, and catch me Sunday 
This Sunday, I'll be with um, live with Dr. Ron Garnett. Let's talk solutions live from my personal page. Tell a friend we're going to be on. Subscribe if you go to my website, Tarty Stallings Inc. Subscribe, and you'll be able to get a newsletter, an email weekly on what's going on, the great events that we have that we have coming up. I am so excited. I am so excited to be able to share. Be able to share. And remember, let me tell you something. Don't allow personality preference to keep you in a small conundrum, in a cycle where you never achieve the fullness of who you are and what you are purposed and destined to do because you don't like somebody's personality. <laughs> Get over it, y'all. It's time to grow up. We've been drinking milk too long. It's time to really eat some meat. Not just vegetables, but meat. Come on. If we're going to have a standard, we got to live the standard. Like and share, you guys. I will, you guys, I'll see you next week. Make sure to follow me on my YouTube page at Let's Talk Tara. Let's Talk Tara. I'm on a campaign to increase 10,000 um, viewers. So like and share. Like and share. See you guys next week. Hi. Um, thank you. So like and share. And I'll see you guys next week. Same time, same channel. Love you guys. Bye.